Hi, welcome to my channel, Rank Country Sticks. Um, in the last video, I mentioned uh, we'll be doing a spaniel. So it's another commission. Um, I think we've just done the one in the past. So uh, that was a first. So take you through the steps again. First thing we're going to do is take some pictures off the internet, uh, side profile, front profile, and it'd be ideal if you could get one looking down at the dog. But unless you've got the dog in front of you and you've got a camera in your hands, you're normally not going to have that. So you have to live with these. So what I've done, um, just on the carbon on the back, and then line them up uh, with a strong light at the back to see if the proportions are right and if things, you know, match up. They're pretty close, so I'm going to stick with what I've got. So that's my basic profiles. So that's going to go on some timber and we're going to cut the blanks out. Now you've seen this done before um, on the um, the Rottweiler uh, we had uh, a block of timber and uh, this was all chopped out of it. So same procedure that's what we're going to be doing. So um, that's it for now. Um, it might be a while before I get around to uh, cutting this but um, see you as soon as we start um, Cutting the blanks up. Bye bye. Right, um, we were talking about doing um, a spaniel earlier on. So these are the pictures I've had of Google or the internet. Um, we've just made sure the carbon comes out on the uh, the other side and just drawn in a little bit here because we want to have. Uh, a bit of a handle that sweeps forward uh, uh, with the head there. So what we've done, as I say, we've uh, probably mentioned this before, uh, drawn these out, then in a strong light, just um, match these up, nose and eye, to see if they're the same proportion, because they're two different pictures, and uh, they're close enough for me. So um, that's what we're going to use on the timber as uh, our front profile and side profile. So that's the first thing. Now. A long time ago, I mean I was always interested in carving, a long time ago I bought this magazine, it's uh, wood carving, January, February 1995, shows you what an old bugger I am. So anyway, in there, pet portraits, right, carving dogs. Uh, I read it, put it away, never did anything with it, and there's a couple of pages there. And that's by uh, a gentleman called George Brownlee. Now, um, it's not madly full of information but there's enough there to get you going and if you can get a, a back copy of this which I doubt or maybe you can go on wood carving um, website maybe they do uh, sort of back issues you can either buy or download so you could get that article for yourself and uh, you've got a copy so it's pretty good you know not bad dogs then so uh, there's uh, something for you to, uh, to look at so that's wood carving January February 1995 it's only cost £2.95, can you believe that? And uh, that was page 16. So uh, you may be able to get hold of that, you may not. Um, there we go. So, next thing is for me to go and select some timber. Now, I've got some sycamore outside, it's pretty well seasoned, and I'm thinking of using that. Uh, I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. I could use lime and uh, make life easy. But um, we might just go and have a look at this um, sycamore and then um, try that. Now, before we go any further, I said we were going to try and uh, take you through this step by step. Um, so, as I say, you're going to do uh, a carving of a dog of any sort. Get your profiles and you want some reference. And I've chosen these because... Um, they give me the sort of angles that you know um, I might be able to use. Um, for instance, the, the black and white picture here, it's quite good. You can see sort of uh, quite good contours. So that's very, very useful. Um, that's a very good picture. It shows you how the eye sockets are, you know, quite deep. Um, the head is full on there, not down, not up. It's straight on, so that's good. Um, I like that, that's got you know the nice ears and everything, that's got the nice ears. All this information together can help you sort of uh, do your own carving. Um, I know there are people who say, well I don't use um, 
uh, profiles and things because I'm not used to, you know. But anyway, 99% of us need assistance, need pictures, need profiles, need help. So use whatever you can. Go and have a look at the sycamore and I'll be back soon. Now we've done one side with the, um, the pattern and we've just put uh, the side profile on. And we're just going to pencil round. We've got carbon down here. Our side profile. Just pencil this in a bit more because the carbon's not. Um, that great now, we've used it quite a bit. I'm just marking the neck out at 30mm. We won't use 30mm, but um, it gives you uh, plenty to be going at. Now, because we've used two different pictures, um, there's no saying that the eyes and the nose are going to line up. Uh, with each profile so we've got to sort of make the best of it and um, I have put these profiles on and taken them off about three times now um, just to try and get them as close as possible to uh, where the best positions are okay so on the whole that's not bad uh, the main thing is that the eyes are, um, you can see in the slide or not, that might be better for you, um, the eyes are, are lining up, um, the nose lines up, so that's pretty good. Um, what is going to happen, the head on this side is a lot higher than it is there. We'll worry about that when we come to it. Um, the thing is, because this is higher than that, then we have to really cut this out first. Um, because if we cut that, we're going to be chopping this off here. And that looks nice, that looks right. Um, so I think we're going to try and do the front profile first on the bandsaw, and then slide that back in, uh, a bit of hot glue to hold it in place, and then we'll do this one. And I think what we'll have to do is um, we we'll probably just have to increase the, um, the height of the head. If you've got it, you can take it off. If you, you cut it off too early, uh, you haven't got it. You can't do anything with it. So we we'll just add that on there. Okay. So that's next. As I say, I don't think you really need to see me bandsawing. If you've got a bandsaw, you know what you're doing. Um, if you haven't got a bandsaw, you'll probably be using a, uh, a bow saw or something. Or uh, you'll be taking down to a mate who's got a bandsaw. So um, back in a minute when we've done that. Well, we've bandsawed the front out. All right. See that there now. We've still got this left. What we need to do is get some hot glue, glue these bits back so at least nice and square and steady under the saw, and then do the side profile. So back in a minute. Right. We've uh, cut our blank out. There's a bit wee bit once taken off this side really, it's out of balance, but uh, we were following the, the photograph. But that don't matter because as I say we've got plenty to work with, you can always take material off, uh, you can't put it back on. So don't look much like uh, Springer Spaniel at the moment, um, it may not when we're finished, but hopefully it'll be okay. 
So we're going to leave it to that. Uh, it's time to go in, have the old medicine, get a shower, and uh, sit down and watch Harry Potter. So thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, before we go, let's just have a look see. Right. Snurper. New subscriber. Welcome. Who else have we got? I think that's all at the moment. Uh, have we got any more? Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in this. Let's see if we can find it. No, I think that's the only one. Andy Rogg 7 I think we had that last time. So anyway, anybody who's new to subscribing, welcome to the channel. Hope you learned something and uh, we'll see you uh, on the next one.